love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now I'm going to do a little role play so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Now let's say I am a person who wants to be a doctor or I want to be, you know, maybe God called me to be an advocate or, uh, you know, whatever. And here I am. I haven't gone back to school because I'm so tired of people working against me. And all I can do is look back. I am trying to move forward, but my focus is in the rearview mirror. And I'm just driving along, trying to go forward, thinking I'm going to my destiny. I'm going on to my purpose. Hallelujah. Bam. Well, how did I run into that? Because while I'm saying hallelujah, my mind is going over and over. And next thing you know, I'm replaying. I remember what my mother said. I remember what that guy did to me. I'm going to fix him. If I run into him, I'm going to get him. And your mind is just rehearsing, rehashing, rehashing, stirring the pot, stirring the pot, getting all the stink fumes up in the nose. And you're just sitting there just tied up in knots, just getting angrier and angrier thinking about it. Bam! Well, how did that happen? I wasn't looking ahead. I wasn't focused on my destiny. I was focused on my self-pity, on my wounds, on my anger, on my resentment. And it is so big to me. I can't see what's behind it. I'm focusing on this. She did that to me. And I'm, I'm not going to talk to her again. She did me wrong. She lied on me. She lied, I'm telling you, she lied on me. If she hadn't lied on me, I wouldn't have lost that job. If I hadn't lost that job, I would have still been in school. She lied on me, and I'll never forgive her for that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the other thing. Right when that was going on, you know what my father told me? I mean, he blamed me. And I mean, I just couldn't, you know, that's just the way life does me. I can't get forward because every time I try to put a foot forward, I get kicked in the rump. Somebody stabs me in my back. Well, I tell you what, forget it. I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to relax. I don't need all that stuff I was aiming towards anyway. Sit there mess over me like that. I'm so sick of people. And see, that's why I don't hang around people. Because they always stab me in my back. That's why I don't have friends. I don't play games with people, see? Because I know you can't trust anybody. Look, if I couldn't trust my own mother and father, you know I ain't going to trust you. I ain't going to trust anybody. So I'm on my own. I'll take care of myself. Thank you. You go through life bitter, angry. Back to Pat's two cents. Bitter, angry. Uh, oh, my goodness. You are a, a walking disease full of toxic emotions. You're full of it. I mean full, baby. It's spewing out of you. And it stinks up everywhere you go because of your foul attitude. Y'all know what you tried to do. I sit up there. You must think I'm stupid. Baby, I'm not stupid. Let me tell you something. And people are looking at you like, okay, where did that come from? Back there, deep down, because you won't cut that string. Your umbilical cord is so tied to your past, baby, you might as well be in prison. Because it is a prison of your own making. Now, God can set you free. He can heal you. He can deliver you. He can fill you with mercy and forgiveness and kindness and patience and all of that. Do you want it? No, you don't want it. Because you've got a right to what you... Y'all, hey. Don't be telling me I shouldn't be angry. I know what, what they did to me. You weren't there. Let me try to talk all that... 
Just go on out my face. Go on down. You know, take take your walk. Go play on the freeway somewhere. I'll deal with this my way. Thank you. And you go through life. Nobody can help you. Nobody can talk to you. You want comfort, but then you slap the comfort in the face. Because they're not saying what you want to hear. You want somebody to say, that's right, girl. Go on and be angry. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got every right to that. Mm -hmm. No. Anybody who's got any kind of sense is not going to encourage you to bury yourself in your own soot. Now, my question to you is, ooh, the shoulder pad. <laughs> my question to you is, do you want to live the abundant life? Or do you want to wallow in your pity, in your resentments, in your anger, in your tears? You could be out there swimming at the beach or swimming at a pool, but you'd rather swim in your own tears of sorrow. So unnecessary. Oh, if you only knew how beautiful life is without all that stuff tied to you. Cut that umbilical cord now while you still have time to live. See all that you're missing out on. 